Good morning. We'll wait for a second. Let everybody catch up with us this morning. Hope you had a good weekend. Good morning, Lisa. How are you feeling this morning? Hope you had a good weekend. Ready to tackle a week and make it count. Good morning, Phyllis. Trying to get my computer lined up as always. It is being slow. Good morning, Lucinda. How are you? I have another friend named Lucinda. That's not a real common name. That's kind of cool. Good morning, ladies. Everybody's coming in all at once. Oh, I hope y'all had a good weekend. I did. I got to spend so many hours in my sewing room, which is my happy place. Um, it serves several purposes. One, it keeps me out of the kitchen and it keeps me from mindless eating, snacking, and um, it also makes me feel productive. So, um, I don't get to spend a lot of time in there because I'm too busy. I have too much going on in my life. I need to start winding some things down. Um, okay, let's get started. I think I've got my computer going here. Uh, good morning, Janet. Thank you very much. Um, okay, a couple of reminders that I want to uh, mention before we get involved in our subject. One is don't forget our first annual um, 5K. How did I hang it? How, oh, I'm sorry. I got sidetracked looking at something else. Um, our first annual 5K is going to be Memorial Day weekend. Either of those three days, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, it's the last, uh, last weekend in May, um, we're encouraging you to walk, run, jog, or any combination of those a 5K wherever you live. And it doesn't have to be an organized one. Just get out and walk 3.1 miles or run it or do a combination. Um, and then post a selfie. And um, if you have one of um, our group's t-shirts, it would be even way more cool if you had on your shirt in the selfie. I know a couple of people have told me they're going to try to get some folks together in their uh, town and do it in groups and um, then post group photos. I just think that would be really fun. So um, if you don't have a shirt or you want another one, um, the pinned post, which is the post that's at the very top of our news feed, if you go to our group on Facebook, you'll see it there, has the link so you can, um, you'll have plenty of time to order one and get it in. Um, it's not a requirement to have a shirt, so, you know, that's just, that's just something extra fun. Um, let's see, uh, okay, so that's t-shirts, okay, I've taken my post-it notes down, I have to have reminders. Um, Memorial Day weekend coming up, got time. Um, and if you can't do the 3.1 miles, maybe you can't do it, you know, maybe you can only do one mile a day. We'll do one mile a day for each of the three days and then, um, and then post your selfie. If you can't do that, just do what you can. But uh, let's all try to be active that weekend and share um, a selfie showing how we um, got some activity in. Um, the other thing is we have historically, since the group was formed, had a um, policy that we did not allow videos. The purpose for that is because our moderators have to watch every one of them to make sure that, um, uh, you know, that they're safe and um, that they comply with our rules. So recently we kind of adjusted that and said we would allow very short, like less than 60 second uh, videos of you sharing your uh, exercise or activity motivation so those are permitted but videos of other types videos promoting um, a, a Facebook page or a blog or um, you know a product that's for sale those will get deleted because we we don't we don't 
really want that taking up the news feed. So if you're going to post a video, it has to be you, it has to be less than 60 seconds, and it has to be about your um, activity, your exercise. There's also been several posts over the weekend about uh, some studies on different types of food, whether it's um, diet drinks or fish or um, uh, different types of sweeteners. If you look hard enough, you will find studies on both sides of the fence. Um, on those subjects and both sides are equally um, strong on their opinion so you choose which side you're on on that subject and allow everyone else to make their own decision we delete usually those threads that are um, very passionate about uh, you know the harmful effects of, of diet drinks or artificial sweeteners or tilapia or something like that because they tend to bring out passion in people and that tends to get ugly so um, everybody you know is able to google and and see what you know what they believe on that subject and everyone has to decide for themselves so um, just don't post them and uh, you know if you read it on your Google or your you know homepage and you make the decision not to eat it because of health reasons or you know because you choose to believe a particular stand on it then that's up to you um, but let's let's not do that because it just they get ugly they bring out the, they bring out the bad in people and we don't like to do that we like to try to keep it happy and upbeat and motivating and encouraging so um, I told you yesterday I was going to talk today about when is it time to quit Weight Watchers and some of you said never and um, I agree with you for me it will not be ever because of Weight Watchers is not a diet for me it's a state of mind it's a lifestyle and it's a lifestyle I intend to embrace for the rest of my life so I will never quit however having said that uh, I'm gonna surprise some of you and I'm gonna tell you that for some people I think that Weight Watchers may not be for you and um, here's why when you're on Weight Watchers or you're in Weight Watchers or you're paying Weight Watchers and you are uh, embracing it as a uh, diet you're in that diet mentality it won't work you will lose a few pounds here and there you'll gain those pounds back you'll do that up down up down up down thing for a while you'll get discouraged you'll get angry you'll get frustrated, um, you'll quit, you'll be off the wagon more than you're on the wagon, and if that's where you are, you're wasting your money. So, uh, first of all, you've got to get out of the diet mentality. You've got to embrace this as a lifestyle. And if you're not ready to embrace it um, as a lifestyle and do what's necessary to uh, be successful then um, Weight Watchers is not for you and I would recommend that you not um, not do it until you are in that state of mind um, the other is if you're not willing to change um, being successful at losing and, and maintaining your healthy weight requires change um, you cannot do this and lose the weight that you need and gain your health if you're constantly looking for ways to replace bad habits with other bad habits what do I mean by that well if you overate or had lack of self-control 
on things like, say, um, bread. If you had a difficult time um, limiting your bread intake and you felt like that was one of the food products that you know caused you to gain before, um, and now you're substituting that with, say, the, the two-ingredient bagel. Okay, if you're overeating that product, then you've just taken one bad habit and replaced it with another bad habit. Is the two-ingredient bagel recipe better for you? Possibly, but if it causes you to overeat it or to eat more than you should be eating, um, then you're not learning a new lifestyle. You're just replacing one food that you overate with another food that you overate. It's not the food that's the problem, it's the overeating the food that's the problem. So until you're ready to change and make some decisions about how much you eat, how often you eat, what you eat, and how much control you're going to have over what you eat, then um, Weight Watchers may not be for you right now. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Um, if you're still looking for a quick fix, if you're um, if you're of the mindset that I need to lose 30 pounds by July, um, it may not happen. Um, Weight Watchers is a more sustainable way of eating, in my opinion, um, but it's not the fastest. Um, there were many, many weeks on my journey that I didn't lose anything. And there were lots of weeks that I had a bounce up. I gained a little bit. Um, some weeks I knew why, some weeks I had no idea why. But um, if you're still in the mindset that I have to lose three or four pounds every week or I'm going to get frustrated and quit, then um, you're not ready for Weight Watchers. It's not a quick fix. Um, it's a way of life. And um, until you're ready to live Weight Watchers, then um, it may not be for you right now. Um, until you're ready to accept that your success at this lifestyle isn't dependent on willpower, you may not be ready. Um, willpower is, is um, it's a good thing, but um, we often give it too much. Power, I guess, is, is how I want to say it. Um, if I overeat on, um, we'll stick with the two ingredient bagels, and I'm not bashing those. If you are enjoying them and you're able to control it, great. Um, if I overeat on those and then blame it on me not having enough willpower, uh, it may not be that. It may be that I just had, you know, I just gave myself permission to eat too much. Um, Willpower, I think, for me, was like a muscle that I had to develop. It's not, you know, something that, that I just have. Um, the more I say no to myself and the more I discipline myself, the more willpower I have, the stronger my willpower gets. So it, it takes effort on our part. It takes practice on our part. And eventually, um, it, it's easier every time you say no every time you push that plate away every time you um, cut that dessert in half and give the other half away it gets easier so um, you're not going to just wake up one day and have willpower you have to cultivate it you have to develop it so um, if you're giving yourself permission regularly to fall off the wagon um, because you didn't have enough willpower, then you may not be ready. Finally, um, and this is a big one, if you regularly or often buy food or bring food into your house that's a trigger for you and then you get mad at yourself when you eat it, you may not be ready. You have to get to the point where you take control of what goes in that shopping cart 
and what comes into your house. Don't bring it in the house if it's gonna be a problem for you. If um, cookies, for instance, are your trigger, um, but you really, really, really want to have a cookie and you're willing to track it and incorporate it into your day, then go buy one cookie and that's it. Don't bring the whole bag into your house and then get mad at you when you caved and ate more than you were willing to eat. Make sense? Okay, so what, what am I telling you? I'm telling you that, um, that um, if you're not ready to make this a lifestyle change, then Weight Watchers isn't what you're looking for. If you're looking for a quick fix that you can drop, you know, 20, 30 pounds for a special occasion, but you are not intending to embrace a lifestyle of eating healthy and making healthy decisions and um, changing the way you feel about food, then um, that's not Weight Watchers. Because what Weight Watchers has proven to me is that it requires a lot of me. I'm not going to just take a pill that um, makes me no longer want to eat the bad food. Um, I have to plan. I have to cook. I have to shop differently. I have to prepare. I have to uh, be aware. I have to um, say no. I have to say no thank you. Or I have to say just a bite or maybe three bites. Um, I love the three bite rule. I live by it. But um, if you're willing to do those things and you really are tired of dieting and you really want to live where you're in control of the fork, the fork isn't controlling you, then there is no better way, in my opinion, than Weight Watchers. I truly believe that Weight Watchers saved my sanity. Um, I've told you before, I tried it all. I tried the pills, I tried the shots, I tried the drinks, I tried, um, you know, the extreme, uh, I only eat carbs, or I never eat carbs, or I only eat protein, or I never eat protein. I tried all of that. And did I lose? Yeah, but I gained it back and more. Um, it didn't work for me. When I went into Weight Watchers this time, this last uh, uh, October over a year ago, um, which was probably my 15th time coming back, um, I went into it with a different mindset. Always before I went in with, I'm going to lose X amount of weight by this date. And that date is what I was working towards. Um, this time I went in and said, I give up. I give up trying all the other things. I'm just going to embrace Weight Watchers as a way of life. And my goal then was um, not to lose it by a certain date, but to get to goal and lifetime status so I didn't have to pay anymore. And um, that was my only goal. I just once I get to that weight and reach lifetime status, then I don't have to pay Weight Watchers anymore. And um, that was my goal. And um, I embraced the weeks that I lost and I learned from the weeks that I didn't. Um, when you're ready to do that, then Weight Watchers is right for you. Um, Am I saying if you're not ready to do that, you're not welcome in the group? Absolutely not. Stick around and we hope that you'll get ready. Um, maybe just, you know, by association, you'll, you'll finally decide, okay, if all of these people can do it and all of these people have proven it successful, then that's what I'm going to do. Um, so we want you to stick around with us and um, do what you can until you can do more. Um, okay, I see several asking, what is the three bite rule? The three bite rule is, um, first of all, don't take a whole serving and put it on your plate. But if you're, uh, if it's, you know, for instance, a dessert, um, the first bite is to decide whether or not you like it and is it worth uh, the points. If it is, then you can take the second bite and the second bite is to savor it, enjoy it, relish 
uh, really enjoy the taste. And then the third bite is to say goodbye. And after the third bite, you get it away from you. You give it to somebody else. You um, take it off the table. If you're out, you ask the wait uh, staff to take it off the table or you ask a friend to move it to the other end of the table for you. Three bites is all we need to enjoy the flavor of something and feel satisfied. We don't need to eat the whole piece of cake. So um, that's what I try to do. Um, that way I am not deprived. I feel like I've enjoyed what everyone else is having, but uh, I don't have to track you know, 12 or 15 points for something that's gonna make me so miserable because I ate it all and I don't have to deal with the guilt the next day. So um, I hope that you have a good week. I hope that you control what goes on your fork and into your mouth. Don't let the utensils uh, be in charge. You be in charge. Um, don't blame it on willpower unless you're practicing, exercising, building that willpower. And uh, don't blame it on Weight Watchers. It's not Weight Watchers' fault if I'm not ready. It's not Weight Watchers' fault if I'm not following the program. And if you're following a modified version, then you're following your plan. You're not following the Weight Watchers' plan. Um, the plan, the way it's written, works. There's too much proof. There are too many people like me who uh, can tell you that it absolutely works. Um, if it's not working for you, then there's something that uh, is sneaking in, whether you realize it or not, uh, or possibly you have a health condition. And if that's the case, then you know, you'll know you have to talk to your doctor about that. Um, and there are health conditions that keep us from losing. But um, if, if you've checked that, and it's just not working, then I encourage you to go to your leader, take your tracker, ask them to look, ask them to help you figure out what isn't working for you. They're happy to do that. Um, and if they're not, find a leader who is. Um, but um, it works. It's a great plan. It, it saved me. It changed my life. Um, it changed how I feel about food, and I will be forever grateful. Um, but. I realize that not everybody is in the state of mind or the place that they need to be to be successful on Weight Watchers. So when do I think you should quit? When you're not willing to work the plan. Um, and when you are, we will always be here. Weight Watchers will be here. It's the most wonderful family of people I've ever had the privilege of being involved in. And um, we have 75,000 of you here who will testify too that it's a great plan. Um, I hope, we, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna get off of here. I have to get to work. Somebody asked me uh, to show you the view from my office window, so I'm gonna see if I can do this. So that's my view every day, and uh, that's what I do when I eat lunch. I, I heat my lunch up, I bring it back to my office, and I just sit there and, and look out at the beautiful view and count my blessings and, and um, realize how very blessed I am. I, I'm surrounded by awesome people, wonderful friends, a family who loves me, and um, it just doesn't get any better than that. So count your blessings this week. Do something different. Make a, uh, make a decision for you that's good for you. And um, I promise you, you, you will never regret doing that. So, um, I will try to get to your comments and um, let's be kind to each other and supportive of one another and let's make this week count. Don't let another week go by that uh, you don't see any progress. Dig deep. Do something good for you. You deserve it. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you on the board. Bye.